Ah, what a day. I was able to track down some toilet paper. Well, I'm sure tired of those corn cobs. Live from Pine Top, Arizona, it's That Painting Show, starring the Color Queen. We appreciate you being with us. Today, as promised, we are going to talk a little bit more about color. Can you see I've enhanced this beautiful color wheel I made? <laughs> anyway, before we begin that, Dr. John, who is today's lucky duck? Color Queen, the lucky duck is Chris from Las Vegas. Las Vegas. What does he want? He says, you already have the duck. Where's Groucho? <laughs> hey, stay tuned, Chris. We may just find Groucho. So we talked about the properties of color and one of them was about value, the lightness or darkness of a color. I made this little chart. Um, you can make, actually, you should get, play around with mixing colors yourselves. Add white and black to all the different colors if you like. Get one of these inexpensive um, canvas panels and or even a canvas uh, pad and start mixing colors. Just see what you get. And if you find a color you like, write down how you made it and save it for yourself. And remember, Color Mixing for Artists is a great book if you like to paint at home. It's help very helpful. Saves a lot of frustration. So lightness or darkness of the color. White added to red gives you pink. Black added to red gives you maroon. So now you know you can make all these different colors just from um, using white and red added to any other color on the color wheel. Did you have a question, Dr. John? Jeez, the uh, Queenie, your hair looks different today. <laughs> oh, yes. My hair does look different today. Um, my stylist has closed her salon and uh, for the quarantine, which I understand. And I've started cutting my own hair. I call it the COVID cut. Huh, pretty soon you're gonna need a wig. You're right. <laughs> I'll wear my, wi my uh, wizard hat. Okay, on to color. Intensity is another property of color, and that means the brightness or dullness of a color. Very different from light or dark. Brightness or dullness. The full brightness of any color is that color straight out of the tube. How do you dull it? Go across the color wheel, directly across the color wheel, and that's how you can dull the color. It makes it earthier. I chose red. Add a little bit of green to red, add a little bit of red to my green, and you can see it ends up real muddy in the middle. Now, what that creates is called a neutral. If you add a lot of white to that muddy color, you can make a shadow color that's great for, say you wanna paint a white flower. You don't wanna use black for the shadow, so use a neutral. So that's it for today, and um, Dr. John, Teach, what's our next segment? Thanks for asking. Our next segment is the amazing power of line. Remember I told you color, line, form, texture, shape are the five elements of art. So that's what we'll be addressing next. Queenie, what is the super sale? Oops, I forgot the super sale. The super sale today is uh, box note cards. These new large notes we have are included in our 25% off. So go to the website, check them out. <laughs> now next, what are today's pearls of wisdom? Oh, I got a little ahead of myself there. <laughs> Remember, this is a live performance. This quote is from Will Rogers and he says, when you find yourself in a hole, quit digging. Thanks again for joining us. Stay safe, stay well, and cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>